Commander of Air Education and Training, Lieutenant General Darrell Robertson, welcomed a distinguished visitor, retired Lieutenant Colonel Richard Cole, former Doolittle Raider. He is one of two surviving members of the World War II Doolittle Raiders bombing unit. General Robertson celebrated his 100th birthday with members of the Air Force's Thunderbirds and Wings of Blue teams. Happy birthday. The Doolittle Raiders were a group of 80 brave men who served under the command of General James Jimmy Doolittle. The Raiders conducted a dangerous bombing mission on Japan on April 18, 1942, in retaliation for the attack on Pearl Harbor. On that day, took off in their B-25s on a mission that was a one-way mission. They knew that they were not going to be able to come back. They didn't know where they were going to land but they needed to send a message to Japan. And they were all committed and willing to sacrifice your lives yeah. to do it. The truth of it is, of it is that uh, we were at war and that was our job. The United States Air Force Thunderbirds and Wings of Blue were in San Antonio for the 2015 Joint Base San Antonio Air Show and Open House at Joint Base San Antonio Randolph. For General Robertson, hosting the Thunderbirds was especially meaningful since he was a member of the Thunderbirds team from November 1993 to December 1995. Having the Thunderbirds here and being able to interact with them in a way that I haven't had a chance to in many years uh, was really awesome. I have lots of mementos and I have great fond memories of my Thunderbird days, but I always get more energized and more excited when I get to interact with the Thunderbirds. This reception afforded General Robertson and attendees the unique opportunity to interact with an individual who represents a link to Air Force heritage during a crucial time in World War II when the Air Force did not exist but would later emerge as a separate service from the Army Air Corps in 1947. The experience bridged the past and present, allowing an opportunity to interact with a living legend. He is a huge part of our heritage. A uh, huge inspiration to all of us who serve and uh, want to continue serving because of the, the groundwork that he and, and the greatest generation have laid for us. And uh, I'm humbled to be, to be around him and be able to meet him tonight. We all stand on Lieutenant Colonel Dick Cole's shoulders. And now we have youngsters in our Air Force that are going to be able to remember that and speak to it in the future so that we don't forget our heritage and our past because it's a tremendous heritage and air power has been a critical factor you know, in all of our wars for, for every war that we've been in. From the 502nd Air Base Wing Public Affairs Office, I'm Sean Schroeder.